Um, so the Scribe add-in um, was developed internally here um, at Scribe to help us not only in composition, but also um, in editing. Um, and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen now and guide you through the installation. And then after that, we're gonna go through each and every um, aspect of the SAI. So let me go ahead and share my screen now. Uh, let's switch over to this one. Share screen. Okay. So I hope everybody can see uh, my screen uh, here. Let me just make sure I have access to the chat as well. Let me just float that down here. Um, okay. So as you can see, this is our website, um, scribenet.com. This gives us our nice little introduction um, to what we do, contact information is there at the bottom. Um, and our documentation is available uh, without you having to sign in. Um, here's the documentation that Tim was discussing um, about the SAI. This actually is, goes through the entire install process as well. Um, so if there's something that like I go through or I go through quickly, you can feel free to stop me and ask me a question. Um, but if you do see, um, if you do like try to install it later and you see something, you can also always go to this um, site here um, and that will um, guide you through. And the rest of the documentation goes through in details what we will we'll go through uh, personally here um, in the training, right? Um, and so here you have this nice little description um, of what I just described, um, that it is to help us compose and um, edit. Um, and of course, composition, um, as we've described, is applying structure to a document. And so here, you'll want to sign in. Um, the sign in is over here on the right. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my, um, my username and password. Um, you should have received um, yours for you to be able to set up and go here. I'm an admin, so I get to see all this nice uh, stuff over here. But let's just go over here. Um, if you haven't received um, your sign in or you need somebody else to be added, please let um, Karen know and let us know as well. So that way we can add you there. Um, there you go. And thank you, Karen, for adding those links uh, for those that, uh, that need it. Um, and so when you sign in, you can go to Wellform Document Workflow and then you go to Downloads. Um, if you're not signed in, actually, I'll show you that quickly. You'll see that you'll actually have um, limited um, download options. You have the SAI Lite, uh, which you don't need to install uh, because we're going to install the full version of the SAI as you are part of the OTN. Um, so let's go ahead and sign in just once again, quickly here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and download the SAI. And I have that set up downloading there. And we're also going to download the Word template, which we need in order for the SAI to work. Um, so we go ahead and download the template as well. Let me go over here. Um, and this is going to give us these two uh, zip files. Uh, you always want to make sure to unzip it. If you're on a Windows um, machine, if you double click here, it will look like it opened, but that's actually not open. It's actually still inside the zip file, and you want to always unzip. Um, we're going to go ahead and extract. You can extract using um, Windows Extract, I actually have 7-Zip, one of our recommended tools installed um, on my machine here. So I'm going to be using that. Um, and we go ahead and extract. It brings up just this little menu here. And we'll extract it. We can keep this here wherever you downloaded your file because eventually once it's installed, you can actually remove this. Now we're also going to un um, unzip our Word template. Um, when you unzip your Word template, make sure you unzip that in a place where you can keep it and keep it up to date um, because we do update our template um, constantly. Uh, okay. When you unzip the Word template, you want to make sure that you unzip it in um, a place where you know that you can, you know, update it uh, regularly. Um, you know, so sometimes people like to keep it on their desktop. Um, I don't recommend that because oftentimes you'll clear your desktop for whatever reasons. Um, so I recommend just keeping that um, like somewhere in your C drive or 
um, or whatever the default uh, drive might be. For the purposes of trading, I am going to do the opposite of what I just said and just keep it here in the downloads uh, folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract that as well. And so there you see inside the word template, you will have two um, documents, an SCML list uh, text file and a word template, which we'll actually discuss uh, once we have everything installed. Um, inside the SAI setup folder, um, the only uh, document that you need to worry about is the SAI setup.doc. Um, correct. And to Anna, to answer your question, uh, the two downloads that we uh, take um, are the SAI and the Word template. Um, those are the two downloads that you need. Uh, for now, you don't need to worry about any of the other ones, um, especially not the SAI Lite. That is um, sort of a trial version of the SAI that um, it has limited functionality. Um, so the SAI and the Word template are the two um, that you need. At this point, we have our Word template um, unzipped and our SAI setup folder unzipped as well, right? And so all we need to do to install the SAI is actually just double click this SAI setup.doc document and that will open up Word. I'll just bring this up here. And this is what you'll see. Um, if you have Word's um, default um, security settings, uh, macros are not enabled um, automatically and we need to enable them uh, in order for the SAI. So you'll see this um, bright yellow bar across the top here uh, with that security warning. You don't need to worry about it. You're not gonna install a virus or anything like that. Through this, um, all you need to do is just click enable content, right? And once you click enable content, you'll get this nice little dialog box. Uh, this gives you uh, the terms and conditions uh, for use of the SAI. You can you know, feel free to read those um, when you are installing. Um, if you do not agree, of course, it will not let you install the SAI. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click I agree here. And then uh, you'll wanna fill in your information. I actually had the SAI uh, installed um, and I uninstalled it for the purposes of this um, of this um, demo. And so because of that, my information is already filled in, but you'll wanna fill in this information uh, once um, you are ready to install the SAI. Um, at that point, then you just hit okay. And it'll give you, if it's successful, did you need one? I believe you need Word um, resident on your computer. Um, I'm not sure if um, the um, using online Word, how it'll work. I believe that our supported um, Word um, versions, we'll go here to the SAI, are listed here. And it's Word from 2007 uh, to 2016 on a uh, PC and 2011 and 2016 on a Mac. I don't believe it'll, it'll work correctly uh, via the online version, but I can definitely uh, talk to our developers here and look into that for you um, and respond um, accordingly. And so I'll include that. Um, I'll include that in a discussion on the Google group once I have that information. So and we go back to Word, we'll get this nice little dialog box. Um, once we have um, installed successfully, it'll just say installation successful. The scribe add-in will appear the next time Word starts. Once you hit OK, Word will actually close and you'll be taken here um, back to the site where you can register your copy um, of the SAI. We suggest you fill in this information and then just send uh, the registration. But if you, at that moment while you're installing it, um, you, you know, don't register, it doesn't mean that uh, the SAI will not work. It's just um, for us to keep a record of who has um, the SAI installed and so we can provide uh, support. Um, and here you'll have some support emails on the right hand uh, where you can um, you know, send any questions. But um, for the purposes of the AT OTN, um, you can send your support questions to us um, so that way we can serve as uh, a filter. And as Tim has just said in the chat, if anybody um, has any issues, uh, please um, let him know and he will make sure to get you set up. 
Um, so then at this point, we're going to go ahead and open up Word again. Well, here at this point, we're going to again enable macros, and you'll notice that you'll have this uh, new ribbon. Um, something to know. Oh, where can you access the downloads? There you go. Uh, thank you, Karen, for sending that link. So at this point, um, you'll see that you'll have this new ribbon. Uh, this happens on uh, the PC Windows environment. Uh, Mac, um, you'll have to go through a little different installation. If, if anybody has a Mac um, or is going to be working in a Mac environment, please let us know uh, so that way we can, um, we can discuss how, how to properly install everything on that. It's pretty much the same process, but there's uh, um, for these purposes, I'm just going to show you quickly here in the documentation where the installation for uh, the Mac is. It's here right there under SAI documentation. Um, you'll see um, the installations are pretty much the same, uh, but um, there might be some a couple little issues that we'll, we'll discuss um, um, personally with Sean and Kareen uh, here. Um, other purpose of uh, the SAI itself is the same across both PC and Mac. It just looks a little different. And so here, um, once you install the SAI uh, for the first time, you'll be asked to define where your template is. I wasn't asked that because again, um, I was uh, I had already had the SAI installed. Um, if you ever need to redefine where you store your um, S, um, SAML template, um, well, you can go over here where it says user settings um, and it'll bring up this dialog box and under template you'll go to browse. I have it installed um, via a different method so you'll see that my um, um, directory will look a little different than yours uh, but all you have to do is just go to browse and point to where your template might be um, for example we left ours in the downloads we'll go here to downloads and then um, SCML word templates and then just go ahead and click on that and hit OK um, and at that point and there you go uh, and Tim um, has alerted me that he can walk through the Mac installation as well, so I will I will default to him on that as I'm usually a PC um, user, um, and we'll go through that um, during our question and answer. I think Tim that that should work uh, after we go through this. Perfect. Um, so as you can see here, you can then just click on serwordtemplate.dot.dot. Um, that's just a words document um, template um, format, and then just go ahead. And hit OK. I won't hit OK just because I have mine pointed to a specific uh, spot on my computer. And then you do the same for the SCML list, uh, pointed to the correct folder. Um, that uh, document is also in that Word templates folder um, uh, for you, so you don't have to navigate to somewhere else. Uh, and you go ahead and click on that, hit OK. Uh, and once you do that, you can hit OK here, and the SAI will be ready to go.